here guys. This week we are hitting biceps and triceps. I'm gonna teach you guys how to properly hit arms and that means hitting both heads of our bicep and then all three heads of our tricep. Stick around to the end of the video. We're gonna go over a quick full body routine you guys can do with only the resistance band. Beach season's coming up. Get that bikini bod looking right with just a resistance band. I'm gonna teach you how to do it. That's gonna be at the end. Let's do it. All right guys, so there's gonna be three keys to our workout today. Number one, volume tracking. Number two, wrist positioning. And number three, elbow positioning. So all of my exercises today are gonna to put our elbows and wrists in different positions in order to engage our bicep heads and our tricep heads in a variety of ways. First exercise for biceps, straight on bicep curl. So we wanna stand up straight. You want your arms to move forwards, elbows to move forwards. And as you come down, you wanna come down slow. Keep your elbows out in front of your torso. And then again. Hi guys. First exercise of the day for triceps is gonna be an easy bar skull crusher variation. So typically for skull crushers, most people lay down. I find it difficult to get a full stretch of my triceps, so I like to do it standing up with the preacher curl setup. And I'm gonna show you guys how we do it. So we're gonna lean back against the bench. The exact same exercise, we're just gonna let the bar fall behind our head, <coughs> like this. Alright guys, second exercise for biceps is going to be a dumbbell hammer curl. Um, our first exercise utilized a supinated grip where our wrists, our palms are facing upwards towards the ceiling. Second exercise is going to be a neutral grip with the, with the dumbbells. <coughs> Second exercise for triceps is going to be a French press. I like to do them with the dumbbells. Um, I'm going to show you guys how. It's a little bit strange. Um, it's weird to get accustomed to. Try it out, start light, focus on technique, and then go up and wait. Alright guys, third exercise for our biceps today is going to be a straight bar drag curl. Uh, this is unique because your, your wrists are going to stay supinated like they always will with a straight bar curl. However, your elbows are going to stay back. So you're going to keep the bar really close to your torso all the way up, squeeze at the top, all the way back now. Like this. Alright guys, third exercise for triceps is going to be a rope extension. Um, we're going to do this in a little bit different way. So instead of using the standard rope uh, as the cable attachment, we're going to use two separate grips. I like using the long ones instead of the short, that way our range of motion is going to be a little bit better. This helps me keep my wrist in a more neutral position and gets me down closer to my side on both.
All right guys, so topic of the day today is gonna be at home workout that you can do with only a resistance band. That's all the equipment you need. No fancy stuff that you find at the gym, no dumbbells, free weights, barbells, anything. One single resistance band, five exercises. That'll be a good circuit to get you, get your heart rate up and get the fat burning. All right, so our first exercise is gonna be a body weight squat. We're not gonna utilize the resistance band for it because we don't need to. If you need extra resistance, if you're stronger, feel free to. Um, but for this, for the standard individual, just do a body weight. So this is what it should look like. Feet shoulder width apart, hands in front of you. We're just gonna go down until your hip crease is about knee level and then back up. We're gonna do about 15 reps. Second exercise, we're gonna do a resistance band row. And I'm gonna show you guys how we're gonna do it. So we're gonna stand up, stand up with just your standard resistance band. Feet slightly outside of shoulder width. You're gonna hold the band with a neutral grip, palms facing each other. Bend over slightly, and you're just gonna tuck your elbows back and squeeze. Third exercise, we're gonna do a push-up. Now I know push-ups are difficult. This is probably gonna turn a lot of you off, but watch how we're gonna do it, okay? Instead of starting with our standard push-up position, we're gonna start from our knees. And this does not mean you're weak, it just means you have technique improvement that needs to happen before you can progress, okay? So we'll start on our knees. The goal is to go from knees to shoulders completely fat. We wanna keep our, our core tight. We wanna keep our elbows tucked in, chest as close to the ground as we can get it explode upwards. We're going to try to go for 10. If you can't do 10, just work in your wheelhouse, do what you can, try to get stronger, beat your, your own goal, your personal record by one rep every week if you can, and progress from there. So this is what the beginner push-up would look like. Now if you're a little bit stronger and you can handle the standard push-up, this is what it will look like. You want to keep everything flat, everything straight, core tight. Elbows. All right, fourth exercise. We're going to hit our arms again. Okay? So, we're going to start with the resistance band. Feet shoulder width apart inside of it. You're going to grab down on the band with your palms neutral again. Palms facing each other. All we're going to do is curl upwards. We're gonna shoot for about 12 to 15 reps of this. The goal is for this to be difficult, but again, we're more focused on the burn, a good contraction, versus making it as difficult as possible. So make sure the reps are good, and then make it more difficult. All right, exercise number five. We're gonna hit the back part of our arms, the triceps. Um, this is a, an extremely easy exercise to do, really effective. Beach season's coming up. I know that we want our arms to look toned. This is an easy way to do it. And we're gonna use a resistance band. You don't need to if you can get creative at your house, but this is how I'm gonna do it today. So feet shoulder width apart, good grip on the band, push up above your head, and we're just gonna do a standard skull pressure. Band comes down, elbows stay in place where they're at. Arms come up. So those are five quick, easy workouts you can do at your house. All you need is one single resistance band. Even if you don't have one, you can get creative. You can do most of this stuff without it. The only one that's gonna limit you a little bit is gonna be the row. And if you don't have a resistance band, you can use things like towels. You can use uh, odd weights around your house. Anything that you can get a good grip on that's got a little bit of weight that you can row upward and do that same type of movement will work, okay? So you don't have to be in the gym, you don't have to come every day in order to get fit, in order to be healthy. All you have to do is be committed, give yourself 15 to 30 minutes every single day, commit to it, and I promise you results will come, okay? Good luck. All right guys, so that's gonna wrap up today's workout. We did biceps and triceps, three to four supersets, 10 to 15 reps of everything we did. I really do appreciate you guys watching this video. Make sure you like and subscribe. Let me know what you wanna see in the next one, and I'll see you next week.